Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to the Pals of Auburn Hills where you'll find the Detroit Pistons playing and where the New Orleans Hornets are at tonight in an away game. You can see Danny getting hyped up there. The crowd is hyped in the background. This was one of the loudest crowds we've been to all year as far as the road games. And um, man, just looking in the stands, you can see a lot of number seven jerseys. You see Danny's popularity has risen so much. Everybody's interested in this hotshot rookie in New Orleans who came with the 10th pick for them. And um... Damn, man. Like, after the tumultuous start we had, speaking of tumultuous starts, we turned the ball over right away to start the game, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, after the start we had, we're on fire now. Led by the charge by Denny, Eric Gordon, Anthony Davis. And, um, yeah, everybody's coming out to see these guys. Sold out crowds. Taking three pointers here over Monroe. You sell, you, um, back off. No, I'm just gonna take that shot. Here, once again, back off again. We're taking the shot. Right before the shot clock expires, too. We need to get that one off. And then, once again, run away. We're taking the shot and we got the shot again on fire from three-point range early we go on a 9-0 run really quick here and um look at this like the pistons were they were getting into um a lot of our guys into foul trouble and here oh god dude i wanted to pass it to gordon and just get a clean shot for him but he had to like backdoor cut and that created all this nonsense going on here uh, once again gordon just flying in there and then um gordon ends up getting the second foul of the game really early here like we couldn't really afford that. I mean, Gordon's gone already for like most of the first quarter. But um, anyways, into this game here, cause um, this game is so good. We don't even need to talk about any backstories. This was an amazing game. You guys will have to watch this one at the end, till the end. And um, yeah, this character, this um, game takes shape. You can feel its character as it goes on. We are, you know, one of the top teams right now, New Orleans Hornets. The Pistons, not the greatest team you can see by their record, but they're hanging into the game. They're making the scrappy plays. Like I said, they got a lot of our guys into foul trouble. Um, they're double teaming early here, and we're just going to kick it out to Eric Gordon. And then he was playing facilitator early. Of course, he was hitting the threes, but after that, it was all about facilitating. Five um, assists early here, looking to get another one as we get double teamed. They're beautiful cut there by Eric Gordon to the rim we find him tie ball game here and we get the steal the tip and the steal and we're looking for I was thinking about doing the alley but I think I'm gonna give it to my dude not the greatest shot but Eric Gordon is cooking right now and he's on fire so no might as well pass it to him he's on fire I will give it to him because Eric Gordon makes a lot of shots once he's in the rhythm you get a lot of shots but they're forced it in there and you know it wasn't open but, um, hey, you know, tight game here, tight ball game. One quarter is 32-32. Like I said in the last video, you got to take it all four quarters. And that's what we're doing. But here they get the and one. Ed Davis already with a second foul. They're a nice find of Vasquez in the paint. But, yeah, um, this dude, like, Ed Davis already has two fouls. Anthony Davis is in a little bit of foul trouble. Gordon's in foul trouble. We're going to the rim here. Get a nice layup. Go up by six. And then look at this. Xavier Henry is playing our center position right now. And, um, there's two guys taller than him on the court. There's, um, Aminu and there's Ed Davis. But for some reason, Aminu was the small forward, Ed Davis was power forward. And Henry, who was, like, 6'5 or something like that, he's playing center. Thankfully, they subbed him out. But, um, that was a really awkward line on the playbook because they were just posting him up. And, um, here you see I get subbed out. We have a five-point lead, but when I go to the bench, game is tied. So, um, yeah, I was not happy. So, you'll realize that I skipped through the halftime show pretty fast here. I don't show any highlights or anything. I just skipped through it. I was not happy with the way this game was going because we're one of the elite teams right now. And we're, we can't shake off these damn Detroit Pistons. I know it's an away game, but, I mean, damn, like, come on. Here, we're just kicking out the Gordon real quick. And look at this. Eric Gordon, I believe I can fly to the rim. Oh, man. Greg Monroe just could not do anything. That's just determination. Here, once again, we're looking on the fast break. Beautiful find to Aminu all the way on the other side. And um, a rare jump shot there by Aminu as soon as we pass it. We get that to go here. Um, nice find, too. Is that Aminu again? Look at Aminu with the and one. Nice. Here, fast break. Oh, they're just getting a lot of fast break opportunities. This time, Eric Gordon takes the shot in Prince's face and gets it to go. They're speaking of taking shots in people's faces. I took a shot in two people's face. Still got it to go, though. Here, going strong take to the rim. We put it in, four-point lead, and, um, yeah, Pistons still hanging in there. When I go to the bench, back to a tie ball game. Now, once again, a lot of our points come on fast break opportunities, and this time we throw the alley to Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon didn't score a lot of points, as you may think, 
Like, you may think he's probably scored like 30 now. He's basically only scored when I have assisted to him, but um, he scored pretty much every single time I passed him. So, you know, my dude Gordon's getting it done there. Aminu had the shot, but ended up like driving, kicking it back out to me. And this was just a broken possession because I just ended up trying to pass it back. And um, I fouled him to prevent a fast break since I only had two um one foul at the time. That was my second foul there. And we're waiting the third quarter, so you know, I just played a percentage as well. I doubt I'm gonna get into foul trouble late in this game. And um, there I call a timeout because I didn't want to get stuck in the um double team. And what do you know? I got double teamed again. I got stuck. So that was a waste of timeout. He just ends up being a jump ball with Brandon Knight. And um, I lose pretty much every jump ball because I'm short and plus I'm in Hall of Fame. So, yeah. Now we go to the fourth quarter. We're down by three. The Pistons just continuing to play a really scrappy game. They're frustrating me. And um, the Grizzlies wrote the book on how to beat Denny Tyson, the Hornets. Or not just completely beat them, but how to contain them. It's make Denny shoot a lot of three pointers because not all those three pointers will go down. And if you look at the game, my three point percentage was gone off. While I was taking a lot. I was frustrated. My teammates weren't executing much. Here, Eric Gordon had the shot, passed it back out. We passed it back, and he got that three pointer to go down. Ties back the ball game here. Once again, a lot of fast break opportunities, but this time we turned the ball over on the fast break. Brandon Knight just stands there. I'm not even sure if Knight or Stucky won them. But someone just straight up intercepted the pass when I tried to get it to him. And then this shot goes down. Okay, 2K. That's a Hall of Fame verification shot there. And it looked. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I was just trying to get greedy there. And Monroe just somehow steals the ball. Okay, but yeah. 31% from three point range as we just let it fly. Frustration at his max. Look at Anthony Davis cleaning up the boards with the and one. But um, yeah. That's one reason why the Pistons are in this game right now because they had Denny, they had the star player frustrated right now. And um, after after I realized after that last three points, I'm like, wow, I'm shooting 29 percent. Let me get my head in the game real quick. You see, I'm still shooting 50 percent, but um, just the three point shots are killing us right now. So I'm just thinking, let's take sh smarter shots here real quick. There, that's a smart shot, but it just doesn't go down. I guess you're not gonna get every single jumper to go down, but um, you know we're just gonna keep on stick to that game plan. I'm, I'm gonna try not to let them beat me, but you know as a rookie, it's hard to do that because as a rookie, you're just going balling right now. You're just going off like adrenaline right now. Here, I'm just taking another one. I just had a frustration. This time, we get to go down though. We were down four points. Now we're only down one. Here, Knight just somehow gets the scoop layup to go. I tried to contain him, but couldn't. So back to a three-point game. 326 to go, and Knight is just killing me right now, fading away. They're setting a lot of screens on me, and I'm like, no, I am not losing a shootout to Brandon Knight. I am not losing a shootout to Brandon Knight. So we take that three-pointer, get it to go. There we force Knight into the, um, my help there. I got some help defense for once, and we stuff Knight. Now we're running the court here, and I'm like, I'm not losing a shootout to Brandon Knight. So I'm going to give me a screen real quick, and I'm taking a three-pointer. I am not losing a shootout to Brandon Knight. That's not why we're going to lose this game. Bang! Now we got the lead right back. One point lead for the Hornets now. They're looking, they're looking, and they find Knight in the corner who lets it fly and knocks it down. Back to a two point lead for the Pistons. Now we find Anthony Davis in the paint. Two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And that's a two minute pickle game. Like I like to say, two minute pickle game. Let's see who can execute. There, Monroe dunks it. Oh man. Now Knight trying to work around the screen of Monroe and somehow splits it. Oh my goodness. Four point lead for the Pistons. 106 to go. These Hornets are in danger of losing. We find Eric Gore at the three point line who does not take the shot. Gives it back to us. Are you serious? And now we're running out of time. I just take it strong to the hoop and we get the layup to go. Two point game. 52 seconds left. They go to Monroe in the paint with 40 seconds left. Back in now Anthony Davis and he draws the foul. Frustrating foul to Gil because Davis had good position. But, um,. He just messed it up, and now it's a four-point game with 37 seconds left. We almost immediate. We need an immediate score, maybe an immediate three-pointer. So Davis sets us the screen. No one's on us. Three-pointer. We got it. Now it's back to a one-point game, and since we scored so fast, we don't have to foul. We can just let them run the clock and hopefully get a defensive stop. Even if they get two points, it's still a three-point game. Here, Monroe in the post again on Anthony Davis, and he fouls him again. Are you ugh. Man, you can see I got mad. I, I banged my control. I'm like, wow, man. So now it's up to Monroe to make these foul shots. He makes the first one, but he's tired, and he takes the second one and makes it. Three-point game, 13.5 seconds left. We need another three-pointer. Can Denny come through again? We need this one. I'm wide open all of a sudden. I take it. We got it. Tie ball game, 9.5 seconds left. Can the Pistons win it for the home? fans here at the palace they call a timeout they're looking to get to night here night spins out we got him covered though we got him covered they got inbound to someone else they're not getting tonight so they get to stucky back to night who passes it to monroe step back no good and we call a timeout here after Aiden davis gets the rebound 
What? Coach takes me out the game. For what? For what? So instead of letting me take a game winner with the hot hand who just made two three pointers, we're going to overtime since no one made the shot apparently. And look at this dude, Brandon Knight, styling in overtime. I'm not losing a shootout to Brandon Knight. We take it strong to the rim, get it to go. Back to a tie ball game here. But as they take it up court, they call it. To, actually, I kicked the ball. I mean, I was trying to steal it. But then I can take it off the game again. Coach, are you like, what? So it's back to a tie game though. I'm not going to be mad. I'm just going to do what's best for my team though. I'll talk to Coach after the game. Here, Brandon Knight trying to take a strong nope. Monroe, give it back to Knight, who gives it to Max Seal, and he gets it to go. He breaks the tie now. Two minutes under two minutes left. Aminu's open. Take the jumper. No. Rivers and just a terrible executed play. Aminu had that one. And I'm just oh my god, we're gonna lose. I can't believe we're gonna lose this game. And if you notice, Anthony Davis apparently fouled out because Austin Rivers is in the game. They're big time blocked by Eric Gordon. Minute 22 left. I'm calling for the ball. I see Monroe on me, so I back up jack up a three no good and they get the rebound still a two-point game for the pistons they give it to monroe and the post was eric gordon on him and he cannot convert with the shorter man on him so now a minute left now 50 seconds left shot clock running down we call for a pick and roll with aminu not really executing it well there's a good pick by aminu there we pass it to him when he does nothing now double team shot clock running down we find eric gordon he's got it we break it. We got the lead. 38.8 seconds left. Big time shot by Eric Gordon. We were doomed. But since they double teamed, you know I'm going to find my dude. You know I'm going to find my dude. Now they go in the post to Monroe again. With Aminu, Ed Davis on him. And running hook shot goes down. Monroe takes the lead. 27.6 seconds left. Denny looking. Going to call some picks here. Let's see if they double team. Let's see if they double team. And they do. They don't want Denny taking a shot after he made those three pointers earlier. We got to pass the quick four to do the jump ball. We give it to Aminu. Double team comes. We find Eric Gordon on the wing. He takes the shot. He's got it. We take back the lead with 10.8 seconds left. One point lead. But if the Pistons make a shot here, they got the lead and possibly the win. So we got to come up with some big time defense here. Brandon Knight versus Denny Tice. Brandon Knight one on one. He wants to take Denny. Spin move. Strong take. Misses the layup. But they get the offensive rebound when Max Seal puts it up. No good. Hornets escape with the victory. Oh my. Wow. What a game. What a game. That's 10 times better because we won the game. What a finish here with the Palace. The fans were going absolutely bonkers. They won their home crowd team to win. They saw this elite Hornets team executing, and Denny Tice wins the game with the assist to Eric Gordon, not just making the jump shots, but also running the point, and that's what it takes to win. And um, I am have no problem with that. We got the victory. Eric Gordon is my dude. So yeah, I hope you guys like, you gotta like this video. What a game. Subscribe for more games like this with Denny, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hope you guys have a good day. You had 52 points tonight. That was an incredible scoring display that we just witnessed. Would you say that this is one of your definitive moments as a pro? As of now, yes. But it's only going to be a footnote when all is said and done. My goal is to put up points like this every time I step onto the floor. And it's been that way ever since I first started playing. But this is just the beginning, man. I'm about to start a crazy scoring run that will keep all of you talking through the rest of the season. And you will all get to tell your grandchildren that you bore witness to one of the greatest. You can thank me for that later.